Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. So, the gender equality paradox in STEM. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. Now, there is this constant lie that is repeated over and over and over and over that women just aren't in STEM. If you take a casual glance, and I mean, you, that you just casually look at it, don't even have to study it in depth, uh, you will find that it's a big, fat, hairy lie. <laughs> uh, women are in STEM. Not only women are in STEM, uh, but they are the majority in STEM. <laughs> Ta-da! Uh, veterinary, biology, nursing, medicine, dentistry are anywhere from 60% to 90% women. And overall, women make 55% of STEM. Ta-da! Uh, so why do they keep lying? What's what's the deal? What did what did they actually want? Why would you tell a complete fabrication? Fabrication. Uh, well, uh, uh, the only thing that I could come up with my wisdom and my uh, um, savoir faire, my uh, uh, je ne sais quoi, is that they want men out of STEM, which is kind of kooky. But okay, hold on. They want them completely out of STEM. In fact, STEM is the last bastion of college that even has men in them. Women account for 90% of the liberal arts college. So in the rest of the campus, uh, except for maybe business, college of business, uh, the rest of the campus is, is female, is woman. Women. Uh, there are, it is not uncommon for you to go to class and there be one guy in it. In other fields. Uh, to add insult to injury, women in the, in the West, who aren't dominating engineering, with the freest policies in the world to make all the choices uh, are in STEM less than the women in African countries where women aren't considered at all, you know? Uh, but those African countries allow the women to study anything that they want. And they have... Uh, I don't know if you know this, but a majority of the countries in Africa suffer from a human resource uh, depreciation. I don't think you understand uh, the situation in Africa. Uh, uh, there was a time uh, where uh, in the d various parts of Africa, there were millions and millions and millions of the various Africans in their nations that was somehow reduced. I know that's gonna trigger all sorts of people. Uh, what do you mean reduced? What are you talking about, Shikama? They were reduced. I'm not talking about anything. I'm just stating a little bit of population facts. They went from millions to thousands. Millions to thousands. So they are, uh, there is a dearth of population in Africa. Now, those African countries graduate women in all STEM fields to the tune of 40% across the board. So that means in math, 40% of the graduates in African nations are women's. Uh, in, in science, real strict science, uh, there are 40% of women. Engineering, 40% of women. 
a tech, a technology, 40% of women. They literally say across the board, 40% of the graduates in all STEM fields are women in Africa. In Africa. In Africa. Um, so, this whole conversation that we keep having uh, of, uh, we need to spend millions of dollars. If not, hold on, billions of dollars to get women to graduate in the STEM fields. Well, in Africa, uh, they don't give out millions nor billions of dollars to get women into to graduate in STEM. In fact, they don't give anything for women. Oh, uh, which leads to the final point of this video. Uh, they found that the countries with the biggest uh, disparity or gap between women and men in the STEM fields also were the biggest uh, welfare handout countries. They had the least amount of women in STEM, and the harder women have it, let's say in the African nations, uh, where they have to make their own money, they found that women took majors that pay the highest. Did you see my video talk about top 10 majors that pay the most? Made it a couple of years ago. So, I'm not saying association is causation, but it just seems very curious that the uh, countries that hand out the most money have women the least represented in STEM. And then when they actually did a survey, just not to make this any longer, when they did a survey amongst women, they found that the only thing that they could come with, what, with was that women just are not interested in STEM in the Western countries. I just, did I just gash myself open? In the Western countries. So women just aren't interested in math, aren't interested in technology, tech, engineering, uh, science, just aren't interested. But for some reason, in the African nations, they are. Tell me what you think about this, and please like the video. The likes have fallen off. I want 10,000 likes on this video. Uh, you liking the video impacts the spread of the video. If we have 10,000 likes, more people will see the video. I, I know that's hard for you to believe, but it's actually true, sir. Thank you all for watching.